Hello, it's me again. This is for a conversion from the mechanical pump to the electric pump because my mechanical pump didn't completely quit, but it almost quit. It was enough to where the engine stalled and it died out. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you, diagnose the problem. Don't just guess. What I did was I came up here to the line coming from the fuel pump. It comes up here to the separator. From there it comes out and goes into the injector pump. Now, I pulled loose this line and I was getting just a trickle of fuel. That told me right there, since everything else here, fuel line, fuel filter, this line, it's all brand new, that the problem had to be in here. Short of doing a fuel pump pressure test, doing this let me know that it wasn't the problem. I also took this off cleared it out then I mounted this and I know you can't see it but right behind here at the back edge of this there's an engine mounting bolt you can mount this bracket to that ground take the ground wire ground it to this the hot wire, I came back here and I hooked into the hot side of the fuel shutoff valve. And I'll show you, when you turn the key on, if you listen real close, you can hear the pump run. When I hit the key, watch this right here. And the pump still runs until I turn the key off. This allows me to get fuel to everything and the way I made sure everything was working was I bled this out. You can see it's full of fuel. Took this line loose. Turned the pump on and waited for it to fill this up and fuel to come out here in a nice steady flow. Left it loose to where it could come in here and bleed off the air. And this thing now runs like a champ. But I cannot emphasize enough, diagnose the problem. In my case, I knew I had fuel to here. All this is new. This aligns. I just wasn't getting fuel from the pump up to the separator. So for me, an electric fuel pump was the absolute easiest thing to do. And wiring it into the red wire, if you got one of these, the red wire is a wire that has power to it all the time that the key is on. Wire it into that, and you're ready to go. I also think that the diaphragm in this may be bad because my oil is over full. So, I've probably been pumping diesel fuel into the engine. Which is never good. Because it appears to have pumped about an eighth of a tank in. So, now i got to do an oil change. Which I don't think I'm going to bother to record. Okay, that's my um, 
little short video on switching from a mechanical pump to a electric pump and those little rattle what I call rattle pumps like that they work fine for something like this they don't push a huge amount of fuel but for this they will pump more than pump enough and I've actually used these to pump uh, 2050 motor oil and they work fine because I've got an old 76 GMC Jimmy that I converted from full-time four-wheel drive to part-time four-wheel drive and I put a pump like that into the transfer case to pump up to put oil to the rear bearing so you don't have to lock it in four-wheel drive every hundred miles to bring oil up and around so I hope you found that helpful <coughs> and subscribe and click like surely I'll have something you'll like sooner or later